cold west where my biggest problems Good, yeah, we're down here living the dream. Uh, we've been down here for eight days now, and uh, we pre-ran every day, and a lot of pre-running. We stayed focused this race, not a lot of partying, up at seven, doing our homework. Uh, we've been around the track three full times, and we've gone back and done the beach section an extra fourth time, and we've done the start now four times, so there's nothing that we're not prepared for. Especially one of them is driving me It just a real to be now the buzzword The so-called water crisis is getting worse every day But yet there are many people who think there's no problem Good. We did have a lot of brake problems with the, the three-seater, the orange one. Uh, we had to bleed the brakes every 200 miles. Uh, we haven't really found what the problem is, but we'll get it one of these days. <laughs> um, the gray truck, my dad's pre-runner, uh, flawless. It's got a new transmission, Fortin with an automatic in it, with a converter, so it's nice and comfortable. And really, we've put almost 2,000 miles on them this uh, race, and nothing major couple cracks we had to weld up but nothing that's held us back. Well, now that we've qualified seventh, which is pretty good for this course, you don't want to be first coming out of town. It's really difficult getting out of town. So the first six will clear the track, and there we are. With Bryce Mintz, he's right in front of us. Obviously, he knows how to win. So we're going to latch on to him and, and get a feel for what that speed is like and what that pace needs to be like. Obviously, Tavo, once again, is going to be coming hard. Always is. Always is behind us for some reason. Hopefully he doesn't hit us this time and lose our spare tire, but uh, we'll hold him off. He's going to have a tough time getting through the dust in the mountains, so not too worried about it. The plan this race is to keep it moving forward, as if every race, you just got to keep moving forward no matter what. So we'll make it happen.
Jurgensen Racing compared to the other competitors, at least some of them, in, in the elite class of a trophy truck, we're the, the ultimate underdogs. You know, we, we have the smallest budget, we have the smallest team, we, but we do have good equipment. We work really hard, me in the shop, Travis, my dad, Mark, Cole, you know, Jordan, we all bust our ass to get here along with doing our normal daily jobs during the day. So, you know, it's just a weekend thing. The odds are against us. You know, these guys are getting paid to be down here to drive and we aren't, we're just down here. We're just trying to have a good time, I guess. I'm trying.
make us a little more level, right? We're just trying to get out of this thing right here. We just don't want the truck leaning back like this. Is that what you're asking me? So that way I can just pull on the truck and lay it down. We're a mile 280. We've been ready for a good amount of time now. We're just double checking everything. And uh, the leader's about to come through, and we are not far behind. good about the course we ran into a few issues right off the bat um, right in the right off the bat we dropped the cylinder seemed like it uh, faded out a little we ran the whole day on maybe one one down cylinder maybe two um, we had radiator issues overheating mile geez 440 um, other than that I mean it was the course was rough um, Kyle drove amazing, amazing day. Um, I felt good about myself for uh, first time driving uh, co-driver 500 miles. So it was a big uh, learning curve for me. Um, I'm exhausted, um, but uh, it was a good day. We limped it in and uh, we got the finish. Hey, uh, started off right off the bat, ran into a Bronco, a local, and uh, ripped off half the side of the fiberglass. <laughs> And then uh, we went a little bit farther, and then a big explosion happened in the motor, and we lost two cylinders. So that, we were down on power all day. We tried to keep it with everybody. We had a good run going all the way over to mile 200. Got a flat, kind of a mystery flat, didn't know what we hit. Changed it really quick, and then two guys got by us. We were running about seventh at that point. And uh, 
it just kept getting worse and worse. I mean, the throttle spring broke, the throttle stuck, I mean, the car was shut off, we couldn't start it in Valley T. We got out and reset the ECU, and then we went a little farther, and the brakes were got weird on me, and they came back. And then, uh, right here at the finish, we, uh, the, then we have a crack in the cylinder, so it's pressurizing the water and vaporizing all the water. So the water temperature spikes. And we had to go, we're only 15 miles out. Every mile or two, we'd have to stop, lead the system, fill it up with water. Yeah, but we're here. You know, so we had a good run going, but we just we couldn't finish it off. So uh, we'll try to fix our problems and come back next time. But it wasn't our day today. Uh, just all the friends that came out and helped me. Uh, they actually really helped me today. We had a lot of problems, so I uh, I can't thank them enough. And then Rigid, they've been really supporting my program lately. Uh, they're getting us set up. Um, you know, BFG is doing a good job. We got my first flat in a year. Um, of course, my family. I love being down here with my family. It's awesome. Hopefully, this uh, we can keep the wind in our sails and, and keep doing it. It's a very difficult sport, and 90% uh, of the time. You're gonna get let down, and today was that day. We just just couldn't do it. So maybe next time.